Hi right, guys, I'm back again for another bit of walking and wild camping. This time I'm up Walla and I'm going to climb Humbleton Hill. That's it up there. There's a couple of guys walking down there now. I wonder if you can see them. So it looks like it's a fairly popular place to be. Oh, shut the gate. It's actually an old hill fort up there. Bronze or Iron Age, something like that. Not a very big hill, but but the views are nice. I plan on using my bivvy tonight. I've got a top. I may set that up, I don't know yet. Uh, it's not my usual army basher, it's a old ten fly sheet, outer sheet. I'm just gonna use that. It's not forecast to rain, although it looks a little bit threatening, but you never know with the English weather. It's only about two miles from the village of Wooler, so it's a small walk, sort of walk you could do with a family, you know, to bring your kids up here, your granny, whatever. It's a nice short walk. Hill's not too high. Nothing difficult at all. Just a beautiful day for walking in wild counting. That's the village of Wooler, about a couple of miles away I would say. So peaceful. The Cheviot itself is nine miles away so it would mean an 18 mile round trip. It's a bit too far for me that. Beautiful here. Why go farther in? Those clouds look a little bit threatening. Like I said, it's not forecast to rain, but you never know. The weather can change in an instant in the hills. You always be prepared. I hate that, you know, just mindless destruction. I mean, that's there to help people navigate in the hills and you get some tosser that comes along and just breaks it. I haven't got a brain. I have to be careful here, yeah, that's electric fence, that. Insulated here, so uh, I haven't got a shock. Easy peasy. Well, that's strange. I don't know what to put that there for. 
Ow. Just been bit by an ant. Whoa. Ant's nest. I wonder if that was put there for the ants. Must have been. Maybe zoom in. But I put the lid back down, protect them. We're starting to run to the shade with the grubs. Get them out soon. Look at that heather. Beautiful. Another ant's nest. There must be some kind of well, must be some kind of conservation program or something. Protect the ants. It's a beautiful day for walking. I don't think it is gonna rain now like panorama of uh, the surrounding countryside looking towards the North Sea. Humbleton Hill. Right, what have we got here? Hey, I didn't want to go that way. Oh, there's another. Ant's nest. I wonder why they put them next to the... No, there's nothing in that one. I wonder why they put them next to the... Markers, probably so they know where to find them. That can be thick sometimes, you know. I might be thick, but I'm willing. I tend to do a lot of me walking in the Lake District, and I'm forgetting how beautiful it is. Yeah, this is in my backyard, really. I only live 30 miles away. Yeah, Newcastle. Yeah, the Cheviot Hills. Beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, that view is stunning. Now look. Another ant's nest. Definitely a conservation program going on. That's where I've been. Humberton, one mile. Well, on my map, there's a little forest up there, or woods, I should say. But looking down there, it's all been felled and replanted. So, plan B, there's another wood along here, so I'll head towards that. I've been a bad lad, and I'm mutton do it again. There's a burn down there, Humbleton burn, and that's one of the reasons why I should never drink water out of a stream without boiling it first, because all the sheep around there are drinking out of it, and probably pooing in it, so you should always buy their water. I mean, I'd camp here if there's uh, a few trees for a bit cover. Rabbit pie. One for the pot. I want no closer. Oh, let us get before it runs off. Oh, there's the other one. Well, I'm going to go up there somewhere. It's on the edge of the wood. And um, I should be able to find somewhere to camp. Just down there is a small stream, Humbleton Burn. So I might have to trek back down for some more water later. But it's getting on. It's 20 to 8. And uh, I haven't really found anywhere to camp yet. The thing is, well, I leave everything to the last minute. You know, where I thought I wanted to be, I couldn't really camp there because, like I said before, it's all 
been felled and it's all new saplings so snook out for going there we'll see what's up here I'm only a few hundred yards from a farmhouse as well so I might not even light a fire it's going to be a clear night tonight so there'll be plenty of stars out and ideally it'd be best to lie out there once it starts to get dark I might actually do that just just sort of like keep out there somewhere I think I'll just sit in here against like dark maybe small fire, get a cup of tea and then keep out there in the open and amongst the sheep. Look at that man. You know what it is, people are just kind of putting out, out in their bags and take it away. I mean they brought it here and they're empty, they're weighing out so Everywhere you can, you just kind of get away from it, litter. I don't know if you can see that. Started digging a fire pit and um, it's all leaf mould and twigs and it's too risky lighting a fire in here, to be honest with you. So I'm not going to bother because that would be smouldering long after I've gone and could cause a fire. So plan B, I'm just going to go half a litre of water, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna bother making a brew. I've got cheese and nuts, um, chocolate bars, so I've got bait. Uh, and then later on, I'll, when it gets dark, I'll go and sleep out there, lying under the stars. It's gonna be a beautifully clear night. Right, I've got a plan. See all that bracken there? There's the woods, that's where I've come from. I'm going to go on the top of that hill and I'm going to make a little nest in amongst all that bracken I'll never be seen from there and there's a nice view looking down towards the village and a bit of luck, there'll be a few stars out tonight Hello, and what's your name? Flossie, oh that's a nice name This has got to be the place Just here in the view. Look at that. It looks like there's a bit of a track. I don't know if it's an animal trail or, or you know, like a, people have been coming through here. Could be animal uh, tracks. See how the to go off in several directions. And the view again. It's just got nine o'clock. So I'm cold. I mean I could sit out a bit longer and um I'm just putting off the inevitable because I'm getting I'm just getting cold now so well guys I'm all hoodied up here and ready to go to bed. Seriously get one of these from um Aldi have got the main 299 fishing hoods are advertised under uh, keep you warm, keep the flies off you. Definitely worth getting like keep your neck warm. Nice bit of kit. So I'll say nighty night. Good night and I'll um I'll see you first thing in the morning. Morning. I couldn't sleep in this morning because that sun was too bright. I was roasting inside me bivvy. And what a beautiful place to wake up with views like that. So I'll say goodbye and um, hopefully catch you on the next one.
People will think there was just a sheep lying there. Leave no trace. Hate this bit coming back for the camera.